I just kind of put it into my brain a few months ago. I'm ready to have billion dollar ideas. And it was, it was really framed by what happened with Tim Cook. When Apple crossed $2 trillion in market cap, I just had such a brain gasm because I realized that a trillion dollars is what I thought as a kid was like all the money in the world. It took Apple 30 years to cross a trillion dollars in market value. And then Tim Cook grows it from 1 trillion to 2 trillion in two years. And you can say inflation, you can say overvalued, you can say whatever you want. It's a trillion dollars. And it went in my brain, I just went, you know what? If Tim Cook can make a trillion dollars in two years, I can make a billion dollars in 25 years. And so I've just been sitting here thinking like, all right, I'm looking for my billion dollar idea, not my eight figure exit. I wanna make a billion dollars. And so I was having dinner with a buddy of mine last week and we were comparing notes on our on what's going on in the marketplace. He sees a lot of deal flow. I see a lot of deal flow. And we both had this idea that like I couldn't sleep for two days. I was so excited. And if you've been following my work for some time, you know I love food companies. They're fun to market, they're fun to talk about. And I just love the idea of rolling up food companies specifically. So we had this conversation about what that might look like. And he said, my goal is to buy a jet. And I said, my goal is to, is to make a billion dollars. By the way, I don't even care about the billion dollars. It just sounds fun. Like it just sounds like it aligns enough of your energy. And this is this is the thing, like I don't need, a, I'm like financially, I'm good. And by the way, I had a rough 2020 financially, lots of stories and business investments that didn't pan out. But like I have the house I want, I have the car I want, I have the friends I want. But like when you're happy with what you got, you're good. So like I don't need the billion dollars to feel like validated about myself. Like I got I'm, I'm good, a great life. But a billion dollar idea sounds fun. So if you can punt the dollar value and just think like an idea so big and so exciting that it would keep me up at night. That's what I want, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the idea that's so fun and so big that I just can't wait to work on it. And he and I were talking about what if we you know, bought just food companies? And I haven't stopped thinking about it since. What's, what's ex well, the most exciting thing for me is that I legitimately can see how that would be a billion dollar thing. And it's just fun for me to be like, ah, it feels really good to think about billion dollar ideas. Even if they never materialize, even if they never happen, it's just fun to be like, I think I could actually pull that off. I think I could pull that off. And it's fun and empowering to think about that being normal and possible for you. I love, just love the thought. I love playing in that world. I love just being in that space of like, it feels good to be confident that I could be a billionaire. Because once you're confident you could be a billionaire, you start making billion dollar decisions. And when you start making billion dollar decisions, you become a billionaire. Most people never get there, which means I'm already ahead of most people who wanna be billionaires. And I don't even care if I'm a billionaire. I just wanna have exciting billion dollar ideas. I should, we should just stop saying billion. It's like impactful ideas. Because when you prioritize that, the money follows. I'm Ryan Daniel Moran from capitalism.com. We help entrepreneurs build seven figure businesses. When you're ready for us, we'll be ready for you. And you can start your journey at capitalism.com start.